roll with that. So you think you want to be an actor. Well, first, check out some of the difficulties that Rutger Hauer has had to put up with in Warner Brothers' new picture, Lady Hawk. Difficulties galore, Rutger Hauer. For example, you had to work with lots of animals, hawks and wolves. Problems there? Um, well, um, yeah. Unpredictability is what you call I, it. You know, I, I, you know I, I have a really good time working with animals. Uh, but I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't, uh, problems, you have problems with animals and with people, so. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> sit on the fact that it was difficult to make the film, uh, you know. What, wh who cares? But I would think sometimes that the animal could be great and you could be bad and they would keep the scene anyway, the priorities well, yeah, to them. You know? Well, you have to fight the animals because they're trying to steal the scene from you, you know, and uh, <laughs> we made a good deal. Other things, the armor, the cloaks, the sh lots of pounds that you have to wear while you're riding a horse and sword fighting. Yeah, now, the horse. What specific problem does that count for you? Is it a question of sheer weight? Do you sweat a lot and all of that? What's going on? Well, it's, it looks, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased it looks the way it looks because it looks like t sheer freedom. But of course, I was pinned down by swords and, and microphones and the hawk on my left hand, arm. And um, I, it's hard to explain. Uh, how dangerous it was. I went over on my last day of shooting. Uh, I celebrated the last day of shooting and I went over 360 degrees with the horse. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Now how did you come out of that without breaking your back? Well, I, I wasn't really underneath the horse. Uh, <laughs> he was just on my leg and it was a weak part of his stomach and there were no stones lying right there and I was lucky. I mean it was just, uh, I, my leg was under the horse. I was stuck and the horse Got up and, and, uh, and you've also said that it would rear up quite unpredictably. Yeah, well, I have not got, I didn't get used to the rearing because I've never done it before. And uh, everybody said, well, you can do it. But I said, well, w what happens if I do something wrong? And um, well, that's what happens. What I'm driving at with problems like this is, did your strength and size prove to be an asset for you and in, in the stamina necessary for this role? My strength and size. Yeah. I think size doesn't matter on the screen, honestly. Uh, and strength, I don't know. Mm. Uh, There's an attraction that comes from the eyes or something, however, that a lot of ladies are noticing on screen. How do you yeah. view yourself as a, well, as a favorite actor now among a lot of the women out there. How does that strike you? Are you surprised at that? It strikes me every day. You love it? Oh, yeah, sure. Every morning when I look in the mirror, I go, hi, kid. <laughs> How do people express <laughs> that to you? Well, people, I scare people, okay? And it helps because they don't come up to me too quick. I keep a lot of people at the distance, which is fine. And uh, if they come up, they're really, they're really just really nice. Uh, I don't know, I just want to be on the screen and, you know, if I can get by in the rest of my life without doing a lot of this. Meantime, your path to uh, fame has taken you from Holland to Hollywood. What are the Italy. biggest, you bet, the biggest uh, differences in working in the two industries in each country? What's the most striking distance? Money. Difference money. Between the two? Mm -hmm. It's better here. Uh, yeah. Does it mean the, that you the difference is money? That's the difference. Uh, we can't make a twenty dollar, twenty million dollar film. We just don't have the money for it. That's the only difference. For the rest, every director, one, two, three, is. Uh, what does uh, that mean? He's trying to make you <laughs> yeah. nervous. This guy. <laughs> one more distraction besides hawks. Um, as far as coming to the Hollywood industry, has that been a goal of yours all along? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot now what I asked. Did you have it in mind to be a star in Hollywood from the beginning, or did it happen no. as an accident? It just happened. Yeah. I made myself more or less available, and, and when, when I got the chance, I just took, took one of the parts, and uh, I did okay. It's been five years, you know. It's not, it's not too quick. Mm -hmm. not, not saying it's too long, but I like it, the fact that it's five years and not two, two or one, or sudden. You've also said that you like to be unpredictable on the screen. You like to keep people off balance. What do you mean by that? 
I like to surprise them. It's uh, why would you go see a movie? You, you, you don't want to go see television. This is different. This is movie. This is larger than life. This is good. Does that mean we're going to see you in a musical sometime? <laughs> ah, well, if I learn how to sing, maybe. I want to do a comedy badly. Really? What kind of comedy? Physical uh, or elegant uh, drawing room type? Well, do I have to make up my mind? Well, um, talk about maybe the options. No, I, I like uh, the, the double sense of humor. I like to say things on the screen and do something else, you know, and uh, fool around with the audience. I like to play with them, I like to tease them, I like to <laughs> just kick this. Yeah. <laughs> You're also a master. Bleep. Bleep. You're also a master of languages, bleeps in all languages. You said it's kind of a gift. Does it mean that you can make movies in several different countries with complete ease? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it is one more, uh, well, it's one more barrier to, to, uh, to get through if you, if you don't, you know, if you work in another language. And I don't think it's easy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'll take care of that. Would you use your native language for the moment, look right into the camera and invite people to come to see Lady would Hawk I, would in I do Dutch? That? Would I do would that? Would you please? No, I would not. You wouldn't? Really? Mm -hmm. I, want, I want them to understand me. What do you mean? <laughs> I'd love to hear your native language. Well, I'll buy you a tape. <laughs> okay. Do you speak Dutch much in your own life here yeah. in Hollywood, yeah. at least? Je yeah. Well, in Hollywood, no, but... I mean, wouldn't home. you get homesick for that kind of thing, for your own native language? Well, I get homesick. What, the only thing I get homesick with is that, you know, of course, to shoot a good movie in your own language is, is a little easier. But I don't mind, you know, who wants to have it easy. It's okay. It's yeah. fine. In any language, the film is translated as Lady Hawk from Warner Brothers, Rutger Hauer. This is John Tibbetts for KCTV5 in Hollywood.